Hey, I'm Owen Slogis. I go to Vital Point Church, and I'm from Lucan, Ontario. I spend a lot of my time on weekends drinking, uh, every day self-medicating. I was hanging out with people that really weren't, you know, stretching me out of my comfort zone. I was, you know, spending a lot of time working. You know, I had a lot of anger problems. I was really just a out of control. I've always grown up on a farm and you know working with my family has always been a big part of my life and you know hurting them with a lot of my actions was definitely really hard to, to do. I was at my brother-in-law's bachelor party and we were partying, we were drinking, you know we had all the all the booze that you know you could get from the liquor store, mixing it all into you know, one big bowl and we were all drinking and it was just, it was just a wild party really what it was. And we had gone to, to, the, to the bar that was uh, closer to the campsite we were at. And there were these two girls at the bar after I'd been drinking all day and they said, hey, like, let's go, let's go back to our hotel. Like, so, you know, being drunk, boom, I, I was out the bar, jumped in the nearest taxi, was on the way to their hotel with them. I got into the hotel and we went to their hotel room and one girl walked in the bedroom and she kind of came back and she was like, oh, there's, there's, some, there's some guy here that wasn't supposed to be here, like, I'm just going to go in and talk to him, okay? Me being drunk, I just wanted to party, you know, I didn't really pay anything, any attention to it, but I heard a gun load in the other room. So, not paying any attention to it, I, but I realized, oh, I left my phone in the taxi on the way to the hotel. so. I um, get the one girl's phone and I'm calling the taxi service because I'd actually grabbed a business card from the taxi driver. Just what do you know? Like never grabbing a, a business card from a taxi driver, but I grabbed it, calling the taxi driver, and they had to you know reach out to figure out which because it was just a call center to figure out which cab it was. And so then the one girl wanted to go for a smoke at this point, and I was like, okay, we'll go down. And uh, we're sitting out at the smoke pit, kind of at the hotel, and then there's this biker guy there, and she starts talking to him, and he's this big, like, you know, seven foot guy, like 300 pound guy. And we're having a smoke, talking, and then we start looking at his bike. So we're looking at his bike and talking for about 15 minutes, and then this guy comes walking up, he's got a bottle of booze and a pistol in his right hand, and he puts a gun right to the big guys that I was talking to. And the one girl I was with yelled, Jason, stop, like she knew his name. and. I just took off running. Like I ran for my life and ran to the, because I didn't have a phone either. I ran to the nearest Tim Hortons, called 911, and it was just one of the scariest moments of my life. I thought I was gonna die. I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I'm like, I don't wanna live like this anymore. So I, I, I told myself I'm not gonna do this, so I quit doing drugs for about three months and I had, fallen back after three months. There was just a few other incidents. I started, you know, spending a lot of money at places I shouldn't have been spending money, buying things I shouldn't be buying. And then it just got to the point where I was just out of control and I realized, okay, this is enough's enough. Like I need to stop now. I went to AA, I got help. I started to, to really, you know, fight because I was in a battle, I really was. I was free at this point. I started to, you know, really see that, you know. Um, and now it's been a year and a half. I've been sober. I haven't had a drop of alcohol. And I said I want to change. And this was my opportunity to change. So I came to Vital Point Church for the first time. My family had told me, my family members had told me that they play really loud music. It's really upbeat. And it's my kind of thing. So I'll enjoy it. And I couldn't drive at this point for all the past mistakes I'd made. So. You know, they gave me a ride, right? And then they kept giving me a ride and they kept showing me and they kept teaching me and guiding me and that really brought me into a, a, gro a growing relationship with, with Jesus Christ. I haven't, I've been around drugs, I've never touched it. Like literally just cold turkey, everything cold turkey, God just took it away. And I, I just, I asked them, you know, just God help me. Like I need, and every day I ask him for help to, to, you know, live a good life, live a pure life. I just, I couldn't believe it, you know, I, I was so broken, I'd gone through so much stuff, you know, I'd hurt so many people, could have been in jail, I could have been in jail for life, I could have killed somebody. You know, him bringing me through those, those, you know, breaking those chains of addiction, it 
it just that I just realized, wow, like God, He loves me so much. So, and, and I'm, I'm being able to serve with my gifts, you know, singing in front of the church. No matter where I'm at, you know, Jesus is always there. He's, he's, he's everywhere. He's always there with me, no matter what I'm going through. He's going to, you know, there's going to be hard times for sure, you know, but you can be comforted knowing that he's with you. I'm Owen, and this is my story.